Welcome back to a new Solve Computer Science video. Today I'll show you how to configure Redis for Nextcloud. Redis is a key value database often used to accelerate web pages. Just like other Nextcloud videos I made, we are going to see Nextcloud set up in Docker. Redis, on the other hand, will be configured on the host, so it won't be running in a Docker container. By configuring Redis in this manner, it can be used for multiple services without the overhead of running multiple instances. Let's start. The first thing to do is to set up Redis. Instead of letting it use the default TCP IP port, we'll set up a Unix socket. This is almost certainly faster than TCP IP and it's safer because there won't be an accessible port. The tricky part of this setup is to get the permissions right, as we see later on. This own cloud documentation section does a comparison between using a socket and TCP IP with the Redis benchmark program. According to this table, you can reach gains for almost all operations when using a socket. Now we can install Redis for the package manager. On Debian GNU Linux, Redis is set up to write its databases to var lib Redis. If you have a small root partition and you want to avoid filling it up, I suggest moving Redis's content to a different location. In this example, we use the slash Redis directory. I suggest using at least SSDs, or even better, NVMe drives for this purpose. After installing Redis and setting up the partition, you can move its files with rsync. Now you must change Redis's configuration file. The most important option is, as we've said before, the use of the Unix socket instead of TCP IP. Have a look at the link in the video description to get the complete file. Now Redis is almost ready. You have to change the systemd unit file to allow the service read-write access to the slash redis partition. After that, you can restart redis and test the connection. If you use my config file, the socket is located at var run redis redis-server.soc. To test redis, run this command. You should get a pong back if the setup is correct. Before configuring Nextcloud, we must create a new systemd service that maps the Redis socket running the Redis user to a new socket for the user in the Nextcloud container. I link the file in the video description. To get the correct user ID of the container, run this command. In my case, I get a user ID and group ID of 33. And these must exist on the host system too. If you don't have them, you can use the user add command to create them. Changing the docker compose file consists only in adding the socket as a volume and setting Redis host and Redis host port variables. Now, change the next cloud configuration file. Add the Redis array, the memcache.distributed and memcache.locking variables, and then restart the next cloud. We can now see if some Nextcloud data is cached in Redis. Once you connect to the Redis socket through its CLI, you can look up all keys containing Nextcloud as content. That's all for today. Remember to like and subscribe. Bye bye!